Hello, and welcome to another season of Sims 4 Survivor. This is Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. Another season of just random Sims that are put together. No theme this time around. I feel like we need a bit of a palate cleanser from uh, last season, because that was kind of <laughs> not that great of a season, unfortunately. But without further ado, let's introduce the cast here. First up, we have the Cheerleaders Tribe. Of course, the tribe names are kind of named after high school themed things, since, you know, we're playing in Copperdale. First up, we have Izzy Fabulous coming from Get Famous, Style Influencer. Then we have Eco Master Knox Greenberg from Eco Lifestyle, one of my all time favorite Sims in The Sims 4. Then we have a university professor, Alana McKinnon from Discover University. Then we have the last remaining member of the eclectic arts household that has yet to compete, Mark Eccleston, coming here from Strangerville. Then we have also from Get Famous, Octavia Moon, famous singer songwriter. Then we have coming from City Living, Salim Benali, aspiring artist. Also aspiring artist, we have Ulrike Faust coming from Get Together. Then we have landlord Vanessa Kayaputri coming from a for rent. And finally, Vivian Lewis coming from the base game. The other tribe we have here is the Mathletes tribe. This is composed of Alika Kahananui coming from Island Living. He is, I believe, a businessman or something. I don't know. <laughs> then we have Alan Saja coming from for rent. No idea what he works as. <laughs> Then we have Aaron Bita from City Living. Also no idea what he works as. Next up, we have another celebrity from Get Famous. It's Holly Alto. And then we have a coming from Copperdale. Janae Price is here, of course, from High School Years. And then we have the werewolf Lou Howell here coming from Werewolves. Then we have a single mother Nancy Brock, also from For Rent. Next up, we have a personal trainer Paolo Roca from Get Together. And finally, horse trainer and uh, competitive horse uh, rider, ride is what it's called. Sienna Grove from Horse Ranch is here. The photos I got this time around are a little bit dark leaning. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This is just probably the lighting in Copperdale. It's kind of shit, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter anyway. But let's just get into it. We can start on episode number one and we'll go to the cheerleader speech. For the relationship highlights this time around, I think I'm gonna just like uh, read through them and then I'll give you the like highlights because most of these are just like kind of nothing. I'm seeing that Ulrika Faust is not being well liked. I'm seeing that Izzy Fabulous is not especially well liked. Although maybe not. I guess he just doesn't like Octavia. Octavia is not really super popular either. And Vivian Lewis also not really getting along with her tribe yet. All right. And on the other beach, Janae Price with a great social game here. We have Nancy now with a great social game. She is rubbing people the wrong way. Aside from Holly Alto, Holly seems to like her. Lou also bonding with people. And that's pretty much it. All right, we will go to the first immunity challenge. And the cheerleaders, they win immunity. They are safe tonight. They also win some flint. Congrats. Oh, I forgot to say, we are following the Vanuatu format. <laughs> I figured, you know, we just did All Stars. We might as well move on to the very next season, Vanuatu. Of course, that season was men versus women, but this time around, we're not doing men versus women. And also, this is one of the earlier seasons, so no immunity idol this time around either. But anyway, let's go to the beaches. On the cheerleaders tribe, we have Salim Benali and Vivian bonding strongly. Maybe Vivian is reminded of her son, Eric Lewis. When she is talking to Salim, they have a kind of a similar vibe, right? Well, maybe not. Salim is like a suffering artist and Eric Lewis is a successful doctor, kind of. I think he's supposed to be a doctor in the lore. <laughs> it's not really confirmed. But on the Mathletes tribe, the tribe that is going to uh, tribal, we have Alan and Holly bond slightly. And then we have Holly and Nancy have a minor disagreement. And then Aaron rests at camp to restore his energy. All right. So maybe Alan and Holly are gonna pioneer this boat and maybe they're gonna take out Nancy. Let's go to tribal. Here we are at the first tribal council of the season. We have the Mathlete tribe here. Alika, Alan, Aaron, Holly, Janae, Lou, Nancy, Paolo, and Sienna. It is time to vote. The first vote is gonna go to Janae. That's one vote, Janae. Second vote goes to Lou. That's one vote, Janae, one vote, Lou. And the next vote goes to Lou, that's two votes Lou, one vote Janae. Next vote goes to Janae, we're tied. Two votes Janae, two votes Lou, five votes left. 
And the next vote goes to Jene. That's three votes Jene, two votes Lou, four votes left. And the next vote goes to Jene. That's four votes Jene, two votes Lou, three votes left. And the next vote goes to Lou. Four votes Jene, three votes Lou, two votes left. Kind of an even tribe here. Next vote is going to go to Jene Price. First person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor, Copperdale. Tribe has spoken. Perhaps there is like a home field curse. I don't know. We are, we're going to have to do the math on that. But I feel like the people who should have a home field advantage have all been like pre-jurors. <laughs> So maybe it's not good to compete in the town that we are playing in, but Janae Price, she is going to be the first boot of the season. There she goes. RIP Janae. Let's see who voted who. We have Alan, Aaron, Lou, Nancy, Paolo, and Sienna voting together. They vote for Janae, and then Alika, Holly, and Janae vote for Lou. So Holly and Alan, even though they were bonding, they do not vote together here. So that's something. All right, we'll move on to episode number two. On the cheerleader beach, we have Vivian and Salim with a medium bond. Of course, they were bonding in the last episode. We have Lana McKinnon. She is bonding with Vanessa and Izzy and Octavia and also Knox. So Lana McKinnon with a strong social game here. Vanessa doesn't like Knox. Vanessa and Salim don't like each other either. So maybe Vanessa is not in a good spot here. Vivian also is not liking either Izzy or Octavia. And Octavia and Izzy also not liking each other. So Vanessa, Octavia, and uh, Izzy are kind of on the bottom here, it seems. But Lana does have that connection to both Octavia and Izzy. So maybe Vivian is going to get the boot or Vanessa if they go to tribal. Let's go to the other beach. We have Holly and Alan with their medium bond after bonding in the last episode. We have Nancy and Aaron with a small bond. And then we have Lou bonding with both Alan and Aaron. We have Sienna and Aaron not liking each other. Nancy and Alika not liking each other either. And then we have a whole bunch of slight bonds that aren't really that relevant. Um, Paolo doesn't really seem to like Alan though. So that's something. Let's go to reward. The cheerleaders, they win reward. They are two for two. They win hammocks, blankets, and pillows. Let's see if they win immunity as well. They do. Cheerleaders tribe, not going to tribal. Math leads, lose again, going to back-to-back -back tribals. Let's go to the beaches. All right, we have Octavia and Vanessa bonding slightly, which has a lasting impact. We have Knox and Ulrike Faust finding something in common. And then we have Alana and Vivian bonding slightly. And we have our first alliance. It is Salim Benali and Vivian Lewis, the two people that were bonding in the last episode. They are officially forming a final two alliance here. This is probably when they are in the episode like, we could be Malcolm and Denise. <laughs> All right, on the math lead speech, we have Alan and Sienna bonding slightly, which has a lasting impact. And then Sienna rests at camp to restore her energy. So no alliances. They're going to go to tribal. Another random vote. I think Alan is going to be in a very good spot because he seems to be very well liked on this tribe. I don't really know who's going to go here, but let's just go to tribal. The mathletes, they're back at tribal. Now down to eight and they're going to go down to seven after this tribal. It is time to vote. The first vote is going to go to Nancy. One vote Nancy. Second vote goes to Lou. That's one vote Lou, one vote Nancy. Third vote goes to Lou, that's two votes Lou, one vote Nancy. And the fourth vote goes to Nancy, we're tied. Two votes Lou, two votes Nancy, four votes left. Fifth vote goes to Nancy, that's three votes Nancy, two votes Lou, three votes left. And the next vote goes to Nancy, that's four votes Nancy, two votes Lou, two votes left. And the second person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale is Nancy Brock. That's five, that's enough. Tribe has spoken. Honestly, it could have been anyone. I, I don't know. <laughs> Just lands on Nancy Brock here. She wasn't really bonding with her tribe too well. So not surprising that she goes out here. But let's see who voted who. It is Nancy and Alan that are voting for Lou. Everybody else votes for Nancy. So Alan, even though he's liked, he's not being clued in on this vote, which could be kind of interesting. Are those the same people that voted for Lou in the last episode? I don't think so. I believe it was Holly and uh, somebody else. Aaron, maybe? Maybe. Let's go to episode number three. Mathletes, they're down to seven now. They're going to have to uh, get a win here or they are going to 
get steamrolled by the cheerleaders. On the cheerleader beach, we have our alliance. They have a medium bond with one another. And then Venetia and Octavia now have a medium bond as well. All right. This could be something to look out for. We have all these bonds that Lana McKinnon has with people. Octavia Moon, Vivian, and Izzy Fabulous. So Lana McKinnon still with a great social game. Also bonding with Venetia. Ulrike Faust and Knox Greenberg, they are bonding. But Octavia and Izzy, they don't like each other still. And Venetia now does not like Knox and vice versa. All right, some tension brewing in this tribe. Maybe because they haven't gone to tribal, they are starting to fight one another a little bit. On the other beach, we have no alliances, but we have Holly and Alan with their medium bond. And then we have Sienna bonding with Lou, Alika, and Holly. Uh, not bonding with Eren, but she is bonding with Alan as well. Sienna Grove with a pretty good social game here, aside from with Eren. Apparently, she doesn't like him. Lou and Alan, they are bonding. Lou and Eren also bonding. Then we have Paolo and Alika bonding. And Lou and Holly, they don't like each other. I guess because Holly threw a vote on Lou in the first tribal. So Lou is still not super pleased with Holly after that. Let's go to reward, right? Yeah. All right. The Mathletes, they win their first challenge of the season. They win fishing and snorkeling gear and can compete for an individual immunity. Oh, I guess both of them are going to tribal. Okay. Well, let's see who wins individual immunity on the Mathlete tribe. It is Holly Alto. She wins immunity. Congrats, Holly. Then it says the winner would award individual immunity to one person from the rival tribe. Also, they would stay at the other tribe's camp to gather enough information that would help them decide which member of that tribe would receive immunity at their tribal council. Okay, so Holly also is going to go on the other beach, on the cheerleader's beach, and she is going to pick someone there that is going to be immune from tribal tonight. I guess. I guess that's what's happening. Is she gonna not go to tribal with the other people? I guess not. I don't know. Let's just play it out. Let's see what happens. On the cheerleaders beach, we have Mark and Vanessa bonding slightly, which has a lasting impact. And we have a large alliance forming here. It is Knox Greenberg, Alana McKinnon, Mark Eggleston, Octavia Moon, Vanessa Kayaputri, and Vivian Lewis. So probably Mark and Manesha, they are pulling in these people. Lana McKinnon, of course, bonding with everyone. So she gets pulled in. Octavia and Vanessa, they had that medium bond. Vivian is somehow getting roped into this. And Knox as well. Weren't like Knox and Vanessa beefing? <laughs> they had like a, that dislike going on. So I don't know. Also, Vivian is in this alliance, but not Salim. So that's kind of interesting. And she is, of course, more loyal to Salim than she is to this alliance. Maybe this is just an alliance for this specific vote. We'll see. Let's go to the Mathlete Beach. Alan and Lou bond slightly, which has a lasting impact. And that impact is that they form a final two alliance. All right. Let's go to tribal. I don't know which tribe we're going to go to first, but we'll just go. Okay, we have the Mathlete tribe here. Holly has the necklace, so she is safe from tribal tonight. She is going to cast a vote this tribal, apparently. But it is time to vote. First vote is going to go to Lou. That's one vote Lou. Second vote goes to Lou. That's two votes Lou. Third vote goes to Paolo. Two votes Lou. One vote Paolo. Four votes left. Fourth vote goes to... Lou, that's three votes Lou, one vote Paolo, three votes left. And the fifth vote goes to Paolo, three votes Lou, two votes Paolo, two votes left. And the sixth vote is going to go to Paolo, we're tied. Three votes Lou, three votes Paolo is all going to come down to the final vote. And the third person voted out of Sims for Survivor Copperdale is going to be Lou Howell. The tribe has spoken. That's kind of unfortunate because he was in the only alliance of the, on this tribe. So <laughs> I don't know. But Lou, he's gone here. I guess he just kept catching votes tribal after tribal. And finally, they got him. Who voted who? It was Alan, Aaron, and Lou who voted for Paolo. Alika, Holly, Paolo, and Sienna, they get their way and vote out Lou. Holly and Alan, they have that medium bond, but they have not voted together, like, at all, I think. <laughs> Maybe last tribal? I think they did actually vote together last tribal, but... No, they didn't, because Alan voted uh, with the person that got voted out. <laughs> 
I don't know. This tribe is a mess. Let's go to the other tribal council of the night. Here we have the cheerleaders at their first tribal council. Holly, she has the ability to give one player individual immunity and she is going to give it to Vivian Lewis. Vivian cannot be voted for tonight. Everybody else is eligible. It is time to vote. The first vote, it goes to Ulrike Faust. One vote, Ulrike. Second vote goes to Salim. One vote, Salim. One vote, Ulrike. Is the big alliance going to turn on Vivian and <laughs> take out Salim? That could be kind of wild. Next vote is going to go to Ulrike. Two votes, Ulrike. One vote, Salim. Fourth vote is going to go to Ulrike. That's three votes, Ulrike. One vote, Salim. Five votes left. And the next vote goes to Ulrike. That's four votes, Ulrike. One vote, Salim. Four votes left. And the fourth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale is Ulrike Faust. Tribe has spoken. Yeah, okay, that big alliance did not turn on Vivian. <laughs> it's a unanimous vote here. Ulrike Faust is the only person to vote for Salim. I guess Ulrike Faust was just on the outs here. She is voted out of the game. Unfortunate for her, but we'll move on to the next episode. All right, cheerleaders down to eight. Mathletes down to six. Let's go to the beaches. Here we have the final two of Salim and Vivian. We have the big alliance. Most of them are at a five. Lana and Octavia at a 6. And then we have Vivian and Salim with their medium bond. Vanessa and Octavia with a medium bond. We're seeing Lana still with all of her bonds. Octavia seems to like her. She likes Izzy and vice versa. Lana likes Octavia. Vanessa and Lana like each other. Vanessa and Mark now have a small bond. I don't think they really liked each other up, up until this point. But I guess after the vote, they are now kind of bonding. And then we have a bunch of small bonds, but more importantly, we have Vanessa and Nox with a medium dislike. They are together in that big alliance, but their dislike towards one another is growing. This does not bode well for the big alliance. On the other tribe, we have Holly with a medium bond toward Ellen. Ellen with a medium bond toward Holly. Then we have all of Sienna's bonds. She's still bonding with Alika, Holly, and Ellen. Still does not like Eren. Eren and Ellen also not liking each other either. Then we have Eren and Alika with a slight bond. Paolo and Ellen are not liking each other. I mean, Ellen just voted against Paolo, I think. So that makes sense. And Paolo and Alika with a slight bond as well. All right. At reward, the cheerleaders, they win reward. They win 24 hours of assistance from a local survival expert named Da. Good that we <laughs> get to know the name of the person. But at the immunity challenge, we have the mathletes. They win their first official immunity win. First episode where they don't have to vote someone out. The cheerleaders instead are going to go to tribal tonight. And let's go to the beach. All right. First off, Knox, he leaves the alliance. <laughs> Unsurprising, he was um, very much beefing with Vanessa. Um, I imagine he's probably gonna, gonna get voted out tonight. <laughs> because we also have another alliance forming here. It is Izzy Fabulous, Alana McKinnon, Octavia Moon, and Vanessa Kaiputri. So it's kind of a sub-alliance from the big alliance, but they're also pulling in Izzy Fabulous here. So I think it's very much possible that these four people end up like taking the reins of the tribe if they um, get their way here, because they're going to go down to seven. So they're going to have a very easy majority here. Oh, Mark is in that big alliance. I forgot. That's why he was like bonding with uh, Manesha. All right, that makes sense. Anyway, Izzy... He rests at camp and uh, restores his energy. All right. On the Mathletes tribe, we have uh, Alan and Paolo with a small fight, which has a lasting impact. <laughs> All right. Um, Alan did just vote for Paolo. Paolo is confronting Alan about it, and um, it does not go well. It's only a small fight, though. It's not like a huge fight. But let's just go to tribal. Cheerleaders, they are back. Down to eight. It is now Izzy Fabulous, Knox Greenberg, Lana McKinnon, Mark Eccleston, Octavia Moon, Salim Benali, Vanessa Kaiputri, and Vivian Lewis. Vivian, for the first time, of course, being vulnerable for a tripole here. But it is time to vote. The first vote is going to go to Knox. What about Knox? Second vote goes to Knox. That's two votes, Knox. Third vote goes to Mark. Two votes, Knox. One vote, Mark. And the next vote goes to Knox. That's three votes, Knox. One vote, Mark. Four votes left. Next vote goes to Knox. Four votes, Knox. One vote, Mark. Three votes left. 
add the fifth person voter out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. It is Knox Greenberg. Tribe has spoken. Not very surprising. I mean, he left that big alliance. He was beefing with Vanessa. She was like, let's just get rid of him. Kind of sad to see one of my all-time favorite Sims leave uh, so early, but you know what? He kind of deserved it. <laughs> it's a unanimous vote. Knox votes for Mark. We'll just move on. Pretty easy episode. We're at episode number five and we have a twist. It is a tribe swap. So each tribe chooses a captain. One of the two chiefs mix up the tribe, alternating between each of the existing tribes. One player will not be chosen. We'll deal with that later. Okay. <laughs> Once the tribes are divided, the other chief will choose which tribe to take back to their beach. Okay. So Mark and Sienna, they are the chiefs and Mark is going to mix up the tribes, I guess. Okay, so I guess Mark is going to pick one person from each tribe and split them into two groups. And then Sienna is probably going to choose which tribe she wants to go with, I'm guessing. So on tribe one, we have Paolo, Octavia, Alika, Issy, Eren, and uh, that's it. And then for tribe two, we have Alan, we have uh, Lana, Holly, and Vanessa. And Salim. <laughs> and Sienna, she's going to go with tribe number one. All right. So Mark is going to go on tribe number two. And Vivian was not chosen. She's going to choose which tribe to join. She is going to go with tribe number one. All right. Which is odd because Salim is on tribe number two. So she's splitting off from her number one in the game. <laughs> okay, Vivian. Kind of a weird choice, but all right. But here's our new tribes. The new cheerleaders. They are Alan Saja. Holly Alto, Lana McKinnon, Mark Eccleston, Salim Benali, and Vanessa Kayaputri. So we have Alan and Holly from the old Mathlete tribe. And then we have Lana, Mark, Salim, and Vanessa from the old cheerleader tribe. And then the new Mathlete tribe is going to be Alika Kahana Nui, Arun Bita, Izzy Fabulous, Octavia Moon, Paula Rocca, Sienna Grove, and Vivian Lewis. Izzy, Octavia, and Vivian coming here from the cheerleader tribe. Honestly, Vivian... Why did she go with this tribe? <laughs> I would have gone with the other tribe. Like, that would have made so much more sense since there are more cheerleaders on that tribe. And also, she is aligned with every single person on the cheerleader tribe. But whatever. <laughs> you got to choose which tribe to join and you chose the athletes. All right, let's go to the beaches. So now we have Salim by himself. We have um, Lana, Mark, and Vanessa from that big alliance. Uh, Octavia and Vivian, they're on the other tribe. And then we have Lana and Vanessa together, still on the smaller big alliance. Holly and Alan, they now have a strong bond toward one another. They, of course, are together on this tribe now, but they are also the only mathletes here, so they could be in trouble. Then we have Vanessa bonding with Mark and Lana. Mark and Lana don't like each other. That's not promising, especially since they are uh, in that alliance together. But Mark is also not bonding with Salim. So I guess the cheerleader tribe was a little bit more messy than they appeared. But we also have Salim now bonding with Alan. I mean, Salim has kind of been on the outs a little bit. He's been protected by Vivian, but otherwise doesn't really have a bond with the other cheerleader people. So he's probably looking for greener pastures with the athletes. Salim also not liking Lana. <laughs> okay, and Vanessa also not liking Salim. Yeah, Salim was very much on the outs here. <laughs> this tribe swap might have been his saving grace. Uh, Mark and Holly, they don't like each other. And Mark and Alan also don't like each other. So Mark seems to be very, like, cheerleader strong. He wants to run the game with his big alliance. They are, of course, now only half the tribe. So maybe this is not going to go great for him if the other half of the tribe decides to flip on him. On the Mathlete Beach, we have Vivian by herself. Then we have Octavia and Vivian together from the big alliance. And then from the four-person alliance, we have Izzy and Octavia. All right, Sienna, she is kind of split off from everybody she liked, but she still has Alika. Aaron is still with her, which she does not like. And then we have Izzy and Aaron with a slight bond. All right. That's a cross-tribal bond, right? I think so. Octavia and Izzy don't like each other still. Paolo and Alika, they kind of like each other. This is also a cross-tribal thing, right? No. No, they're both former mathletes, right? Octavia and Alika, they're not getting along. Vivian is not liking Izzy. Sienna and Izzy are not liking each other. Vivian and Octavia with a slight bond. They're in that big alliance, right? Yes, okay. 
And then Izzy does not like Vivian either. All right. Honestly, I don't know what Vivian was thinking <laughs> going on this drive, but maybe it'll work out for her. Let's go to the challenge, uh, reward challenge. The mathletes, they win. They win a trip to the waterfalls of Vanuatu plus beer and Pringles chips. All right. So waterfalls of uh, Copperdale, I guess. <laughs> not that there are any waterfalls in Copperdale. I don't think so. But let's go to immunity. We have the cheerleaders, the smaller tribe. They win safe from tribal tonight. We will start off by going on their beach. Vanessa, she has a major meltdown. <laughs> and uh, Issy is going to leave the four-person alliance. Of course, Issy is not on this tribe, I believe. No, he's on the other tribe. So this was a temporary alliance. He's out. Now it's only the three women left. On the Mathlead Beach, the tribe that is going to tribal, we have Issy and Sienna with a major fight. And Mark is going to leave the big alliance. <laughs> I thought he was like cheerleader strong. Uh, also, Mark, not on this tribe. He's on the other tribe. <laughs> so let's just go to tribal. Let's see what happens. We have the new mathletes here. It is Alika, Iron, Issy, Octavia, Paolo, Sienna, and uh, Vivian. It is time to vote. The first vote is going to go to Octavia. One vote, Octavia. Next vote goes to Issy. That's one vote, Issy. One vote, Octavia. Five votes left. Next vote is going to go to... Issy, that's two votes Issy, one vote Octavia, four votes left, and the next vote goes to Issy, that's three votes Issy, one vote Octavia, three votes left, and the next vote goes to Alika, okay, three votes Issy, one vote Alika, one vote Octavia, two votes left, next vote goes to Alika, that's three votes Issy, two votes Alika, one vote Octavia, and one vote left, and the last vote goes to Sixth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor. Copperdale is going to be Issy Fabulous. Very unfortunate vote turnout for Issy here. I imagine it's just the other Mathlete tribe. They are sticking together, voting him out. Let's find out. It is Alika, Eren, Paolo, and Sienna. Yeah. And Issy, for some reason, throws a vote on Octavia. I don't know what that's about. Maybe Issy was, like, thinking about flipping on the cheerleaders. And the Mathletes, they just didn't like that. I don't know. I mean, he did leave that alliance that he was in with Octavia. So I think that's what happened. But Izzy, he, uh, he played too hard. The mathletes, they were not having it. They didn't like that. They didn't think they could trust him. So he goes out here. We'll move on to episode number six. The tribes, they're even now. Let's look at the relationships. We have Holly and Alan still with their strong bond. We have Vanessa bonding with Mark and Alana still. Even though Mark just left the alliance. Then we have all these people that don't like Salim, Vanessa, Mark, and Alana. Mark and Lana now don't like each other either. I guess because Mark left the alliance, she is not having it. Vanessa and Alan also not liking each other. And uh, Mark and Holly not liking each other. <laughs> this is a very, like, angry tribe. They don't like each other at all. On the other beach, we have Sienna and Alika now with a medium bond. Sienna and Aaron with a medium dislike. <laughs> These two, Sienna and Aaron, they keep voting together, but they don't like each other. So that's kind of interesting. Perhaps Sienna will try to make a move on Aaron with the uh, cheerleaders that are left on their tribe. We have Paolo and Alika with a slight bond. We have Octavia and Alika with a slight dislike. Vivian and Alika with a slight dislike. I'm assuming that Alika is like pioneering the mathlete versus the uh, cheerleader dichotomy of the tribe. And uh, Octavia and Vivian, they don't like it bad because, of course, they're at the bottom then. But Vivian does like Sienna as well as Paolo and, of course, Octavia. But this could be an in for Vivian. She might make a move on Alika here. Also, Aaron does not like Alika. So he might also make a move on Alika here. Paolo and Octavia, they have a slight bond. However, so Octavia also doing some work here to try to pull in some of the mathletes. I mean, Paolo, he was kind of quiet on his original tribe. So maybe now he's trying to like start playing a little bit harder. All right, let's go to reward the mathletes. They win reward. They win stake and X. All right. But immunity is going to go to the mathletes also. All right. Not going to tribal. Cheerleader is going to go back to tribal. So let's go to their beach. We have a new alliance. It is Alan Saja, Holly Alto, and Salim Benali. Honestly, not that surprising. Alan and Holly, they have been bonding this entire time. Um, I'm kind of surprised it took them this long to form an alliance. But they pull in Salim. Of course, Salim hated by the other cheerleaders. 
the former cheerleaders on his tribe. So he goes for greener pastures, links up with the former mathletes. Also, Holly is resting at camp to restore her energy. All right. On the Mathlete tribe, we have Alika impressing the rest of the team, and we have Vivian leaving the big alliance. So this alliance, the big alliance, it is now just Lana, Octavia, and Vanessa, and the four-person alliance is also just Lana, Octavia, and Vanessa. So those two alliances are going to merge into one, I'm assuming. Let's go to tribal. We got the Mathletes here. Down to six. It is time to vote. The first vote goes to Lana. That's one vote, Lana. Second vote goes to... Lana, that's two votes Lana, four votes left. Third vote goes to Salim. Two votes Lana, one vote Salim, three votes left. Honestly, this could very easily be a deadlock. Because <laughs> uh, Lana, Mark, and Vanessa are kind of working together, but now we have Alan, Holly, and Salim working together. Let's find out. The fourth vote is going to go to Lana, that's three votes Lana, one vote Salim, two votes left. And the next vote goes to... Salim, that's three votes Lana, two votes Salim, one vote left, and the last vote is gonna go to seventh person voter out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. It is Lana McKinnon. Lana the tribe has spoken. She had such a good social game at the beginning of this game, and then it just all fell apart at the swap. I imagine that Mark flipped on her. Yes, he did. I mean, he didn't really have any allegiance with Lana and Vanessa anymore, so why not? It makes sense to flip on both of them. But the cheerleaders, they were coming into this swap at a numbers advantage, but because they alienated Salim, they have now kinda ruined their own game, I guess. <laughs> I imagine Vanessa is gonna be in big trouble now. We'll move on to episode number seven. All right, on the cheerleader speech, we have uh, Salim. By himself, of course. We have uh, Vanessa now by herself in uh, both of these alliances that merged. Then we have Alan, Holly, and Celine together. Holly and Alan, they now have an unbreakable relationship. That makes sense. They've been bonding this entire time. They now just executed a very strong move by pulling in Salim Benali. Got the cheerleaders to flip on one another. Makes sense. Then we have Vanessa and Mark with a small bond. Vanessa and Salim still not bonding. Salim and Alan are bonding. Vanessa does not like Alan. Salim and Mark don't like each other. Mark and Holly don't like each other. Mark and Alan with a slight bond. But Salim and Holly, they don't like each other. That doesn't really make sense. <laughs> you just voted together. But okay. Um, On the Mathlete Beach, we have Vivian and Octavia by themselves in their separate alliances. This is unchanged. Sienna and Alika still with the medium bond. Sienna and Aaron with a medium dislike. Then we have Paolo with a small bond toward Alika. Alika only with a slight bond toward Paolo, however. Octavia and Alika still don't like each other. Vivian seems to like Aaron. She also seems to like Sienna and vice versa. And of course, Vivian and Octavia still bonding. And Vivian and Paolo, they have a slight bond. And then Aaron and Alika, slight dislike. All right. At the reward challenge, the cheerleaders, they win reward. They win a trip to a cafe to enjoy coffee, juice, treats, and letters from home. All right. And at immunity, the cheerleaders, they win again. Not going to go back to tribal. Good for them. So the mathletes, they're going to go to tribal. The tribes are going to be even once again. Let's go to the cheerleader beach. We have Mark and Manesha with a minor disagreement. And then we have Salim <laughs> leaving the cheerleader alliance number four. <laughs> he doesn't want to work with Alan and Holly anymore. He hates Holly. He's out. But Mark, he is in. <laughs> All right. Um, they just like drop Salim, pick up Mark. Kind of a good strategy. I mean, Mark likes both of them, I think. So why not just get rid of the bad seed, bring in another person that is going to be better working with you. On the Mathlete Beach, we have Paolo impressing the rest of the team and nothing else. The Mathlete tribe is honestly kind of boring. <laughs> but let's go to tribal. We have them over here, the Mathletes. As I said, it is time to vote. The first vote, it goes to... Vivian, one vote Vivian. Next vote goes to Alika, one vote Alika, one vote Vivian. And the next vote goes to Alika, that's two votes Alika, one vote Vivian. Three votes left. Next vote goes to Vivian, that's two votes Alika, two votes Vivian, two votes left. And the next vote goes to Alika, that's three votes Alika, two votes Vivian, one vote left. We could tie. 
And we do, Vivian. <laughs> so we are tied, deadlocked. Vivian versus Alika. We will have a revote. Everybody will vote again, aside from Vivian and Alika. And the first vote on the revote goes to Alika. One vote, Alika. Next vote goes to Alika. That's two votes, Alika. And the next vote goes to Vivian. That's two votes, Alika. One vote, Vivian. One vote left. And the last one goes to Alika, 8th person voted out of Sims for Survivor Copperdale. Alika Kahananui, the tribe has spoken. Wow, who pulled off this move? The mathletes, they flipped on him. One of the mathletes flipped on Alika, probably Aaron. I'm assuming Aaron. It was not Aaron. It was Paolo. Oh my god. <laughs> So Paolo, he is bonding with the cheerleaders. He decides to make a tactical move, votes with them, forces a tie, and Aaron, he flips on the revote. He doesn't want to go to rocks. All right, very, very interesting vote turnout. Alika, he thought he had it all figured out, but he did not. He gets blindsided here by Paolo Roca. <laughs> all right, we'll move on to the next episode. Episode number eight. And on the cheerleader beach, we have uh, these alliances. Alan, Holly, and Mark together. Of course, Mark just joined this. We have Vanessa and Salim by themselves. And then we have Holly and Alan with their unbreakable relationship. Vanessa and Salim now with a medium dislike. Salim still likes Alan, but Salim and Holly still don't like each other. Vanessa and Alan don't like each other. Mark and Holly, they don't like each other. Why does nobody like Holly that they are bringing into their alliances? <laughs> I don't know, but apparently Alan Saja is like the social person of this alliance, this duo here. Holly not bonding with like anyone that they are bringing in. Salim and Mark, they don't like each other either. Mark and Alan, they like each other. And Vanessa and Mark, they don't like each other. All right. On the other beach, we have Vivian by herself, Octavia by herself. But Paolo and Octavia now with a medium bond. All right. Interesting. Octavia may be responsible for flipping Paolo in the last vote. Sienna and Aaron still with their medium dislike. Vivian likes Aaron, but Octavia does not. And then Vivian and Sienna, they have a slight bond. Sienna and Paolo, they now have a slight dislike. Probably because Paolo just betrayed Sienna <laughs> and did not let her know about it. Vivian and Octavia with a slight bond. Paolo and Aaron with a slight bond. Probably because Aaron is like, well, Sienna is a lost cause. I gotta work with someone. And then Vivian and Paolo, they don't like each other. Okay, interesting. Even though Paolo did work with Vivian on this last vote. Sienna and Octavia, however, they do like each other. So Octavia and Moon actually with a pretty good social game here. Aside from with Eren, Octavia and Sienna actually seem to be kind of on the same page. Which is kind of interesting. But we have a reward challenge. The mathletes, they win reward. It is a large chocolate cake, milk, and cookies. All right. But we have the merch. The final 10. This is the valedictorians tribe. <laughs> The people that make the merch are Alan Saja, Aaron Bita, Holly Alto, Mark Eccleston, Octavia Moon, Paolo Rocca, Salim Benali, Sienna Grove, Vanessa Kayaputri, and Vivian Lewis. Should we make a prediction on who's going to win? Um, honestly, Alan Saja, I have very good feelings about him. I think he's in a good spot to win. Honestly, Paolo is kind of an under-the-radar strategic threat here, maybe. I mean, he doesn't have any alliances, but he can form them. I mean, <laughs> but let's go to immunity. Let's see who wins the first immunity of the merch. First individual immunity of the game. No, wait, it is not first individual immunity because Holly also won, won that one uh, that was in the pre-merch. All right. Second individual immunity of the season. It is Vivian Lewis. She wins immunity. Cannot be voted for tonight. So let's go to the beach. Salim and Sienna, they bond slightly, which has a lasting impact. And then we have Mark and Manesha with a small fight, which has a lasting impact. And Alan and Salim have a major fight, which has a lasting impact. Oh no. <laughs> um, Alan apparently is done with Salim. I mean, Salim, he, uh, he does not have a great social game here. He's not liked. Even the people who picked him up for a vote, they don't like him either. He only really has a Vivian. But we have our first merge alliance. It is Aaron Bita, Octavia Moon, and Paolo Roca coming from the Mathlete Beach. And they pull in Vanessa Kayaputri. Of course, Octavia and Vanessa, they are in that final two alliance, right? I believe so. But let's just go 
to the first merge tribal of the season. We got the valedictorians here, the final 10. Vivian, she cannot be voted for tonight because she has the immunity necklace. It is time to vote. First vote is going to go to Salim. That's one vote, Salim. Second vote goes to Vanessa. One vote, Salim. One vote, Vanessa. Eight votes left. Third vote is going to go to Holly. One vote, Holly. One vote, Salim. One vote, Vanessa. Seven votes left. And the next vote goes to Holly. That's two votes, Holly. One vote, Salim. One vote, Vanessa. Six votes left. Next vote goes to Holly. That's three votes, Holly. One vote, Salim. One vote, Vanessa. And the next vote goes to Salim. That's three votes, Holly. Two votes, Salim. One vote, Vanessa. Four votes left. And the next vote goes to Vanessa. That's three votes, Holly. Two votes, Salim. Two votes, Vanessa. Three votes left. And the next word goes to Holly. Four votes Holly. Two votes Salim. Two votes Vanessa. Holly, if she gets another vote, she's gonna be eliminated. But the vote can still be tied. The next word goes to Vanessa. That's four votes Holly. Three votes Vanessa. Two votes Salim. One vote left. And the ninth person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. It is Holly Alto. She gets five votes cast against her. Tribe has spoken. Honestly, kind of surprising what turned out here. I thought she was uh, in a better spot than she was. I guess Alan, probably not in as good of a spot as I thought either then. Was kind of expecting Salim to just take the hit here, but let's see how the vote turned out. The Hollywoods are Aaron, Paolo, Salim, Sienna, and Vivian. So this is kind of strange. We have Salim and Vivian, the final two, voting together. And then we have Aaron, Paolo, and Sienna, the OG mathletes, voting out Holly. But Octavia and Vanessa, they vote for Salim, even though they just formed this alliance with uh, Aaron and Paolo. Or was it Aaron and Paolo? I think so, yeah. And then Alan, Holly, and Mark, they vote for Vanessa, that alliance. Yeah, I think Alan is not in as good a spot as I thought he was, but Holly, she is out here... First merge boot does not make the jury, unfortunate for her, but we'll move on to the next episode. All right, episode number nine, we also have the final nine here. Let's see how the relationships are, and let's just go through the alliances once again, because uh, we haven't really seen how they are, like the strategic layout of the tribe here. We have Salim and Vivian with their seven strength final two alliance. We have Octavia and Vanessa also with their 7 strength final 2. And now we have Alan and Mark down to 2 in the uh, cheerleaders alliance. Of course, Holly was in that. She's gone now. And then we have the newly formed merge alliance. It is Aaron, Octavia, Paolo, and Vanessa. Aaron is only at a 4 here. So that's not great. He might jump ship. All right, we have Vivian and Salim with a strong bond. We have Paolo and Octavia with a medium bond now. Vanessa and Octavia with a medium bond. Paolo has a medium dislike toward Alan. Okay, I don't know what Alan did to Paolo, but okay. Then we have Vanessa and Salim with a medium dislike. Sienna and Aaron with a medium dislike. Alan doesn't like Paolo either. And Vanessa and Mark with a medium dislike. And then Sienna and Salim, they have a slight bond. Okay, so Salim may be making some bonds here on this tribe. Like, he has not had the best social game, but maybe pulling in Sienna. Possibly seeing that she is a bit of a free agent now. At the reward challenge, Vivian Lewis. She wins reward, and she's gonna take Salim with her. They win a picnic of chicken wings and champagne. But immunity is gonna go to... Vivian! Two for two. Vivian Lewis cannot be voted for tonight. She wins another individual immunity. Cannot be voted for. At the beach, nothing happens. <laughs> what a boring episode. Let's just go straight to tribal. All right, Vivian has the necklace, cannot be voted for. It is time to vote. The first vote is going to go to Alan. One vote, Alan. Second vote goes to Alan. Two votes, Alan. Third vote goes to Alan. That's three votes, Alan. Fourth vote is going to go to Paolo. Three votes, Alan. One vote, Paolo. Fifth vote goes to Paolo as well. Three votes Alan, two votes Paolo, four votes left. And the next vote goes to Alan. Four votes Alan, two votes Paolo, three votes left. And the tenth person vote out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. First member of the jury, it is Alan Saja. My winner pick. Uh, <laughs> it all went downhill at the merge. Um, yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> 
Listen, I didn't think Holly was gonna be the first one out, and then he was just like right on her tail. Unfortunate for him, the tribe has spoken. He goes out here, becomes the first member of the jury, however. So Alan votes for Paolo, Mark votes for Paolo, everybody else votes for Alan. Episode number nine, kind of boring. Let's move on to episode number 10. We're at the final eight. We got Aaron, Mark, Octavia, Paolo, Salim, Sienna, Vanessa, and Vivian. We still have our alliances. Aaron is back up to a five. So he's maybe becoming more loyal to this alliance, seeing it as a way for him to uh, get to the end. Vivian and Salim now have an unbreakable relationship. Sienna and Aaron still with a medium dislike. Paolo and Octavia still with a medium bond. Vanessa and Octavia with a medium bond. Vanessa and Salim now with a medium dislike. Vanessa and Mark also with a medium dislike. She hates these men. <laughs> These are, of course, the cheerleader men who she was with on the OG cheerleader tribe and then also on the post-swap cheerleader tribe, the guys that flipped on her and got out uh, Lana. We have Vivian not liking Mark. We have Sienna and Salim with a slight bond. Mark doesn't like Vivian and Octavia and Aaron with a slight dislike. All right. At the reward challenge, we have Mark, Paolo, Salim, and Vanessa winning reward together. They win a trip to another island where a Vanuatu village will host a night of ritual, spiritual union, and food. Or I guess a Copperdale village. <laughs> Let's just say they get to go to the pier. <laughs> trip to the pier. They get to go to the Paris wheel. Enjoy, have fun. At immunity, however, Mark Eccleston, he wins immunity. Vivian Lewis, first time she is going to be vulnerable here at the merge. Perhaps the last time as well, we'll find out. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. Octavia and Paolo, they have a small fight. And Mark and Sienna have a minor disagreement. All right. <laughs> Sienna possibly digging her own grave here. I think she might be out here. But also, like, you can't ignore the two immunity wins from Vivian. So she could also catch some votes. Let's just go to tribal. We've got the valedictorian tribe here. Mark has the necklace. It is time to vote. First vote is going to go to Vivian. One vote Vivian. Second vote goes to Paolo. That's one vote Paolo, one vote Vivian. Third vote goes to... Paolo, that's two votes Paolo, one vote Vivian. Fourth vote is going to go to Paolo, that's three votes Paolo, one vote Vivian. Four votes left, and the fifth vote goes to Vivian. Three votes Paolo, two votes Vivian, three votes left, and the next vote goes to Vivian. We're tied, three votes Paolo, three votes Vivian, two votes left, and the next vote goes to Vivian. That's four votes Vivian, three votes Paolo, one vote left. And the 11th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. Second member of the jury is Vivian Lewis. Yeah, I mean, she got two immunity wins right off the bat. Kind of poor way to manage her threat level. She goes out here. Tribe has spoken. But at the very least, she did better than her son. So <laughs> she can at least hang her hat on that. So the Paolo votes are Sienna, Salim, and Vivian. Of course, Salim votes with Vivian. And Sienna, she's kind of on the outs, so she just throws a vote on Paolo as well. But the Alliance plus uh, Mark, is it? Yeah, I think it's the Alliance plus Mark. The, like, Merge Alliance, the Final Four Merge Alliance, which is officially now the majority. So they could just run the gamut here. But they take out Vivian here. We'll move on to next episode, episode number 11. We're at the final seven. And... Let's see how the relationships are. We have our final two of Octavia and Vanessa. We have uh, the larger alliance with Octavia, Vanessa, Paolo, and Aaron. Honestly, maybe I'm sleeping a little bit on Octavia and Vanessa. I mean, if they can run this alliance to the end, they still have their final two. Maybe they can flip Paolo and Aaron on one another and they could just like sail to the final two together. I don't know. But Sienna and Aaron, they hate each other. Vanessa and Salim, they hate each other as well. <laughs> Vanessa and Octavia, they have a medium bond. Sienna and Mark, they hate each other. Vanessa and Mark hate each other. Sienna and Salim with a slight bond. Vanessa and Paolo now with a slight dislike after their fight. They were fighting, right, in the last episode? I don't know. Paolo was fighting with someone. Sienna and Paolo with a slight dislike. Salim and Paolo with a slight dislike. And Paolo and Mark with a slight bond. Honestly... <laughs> This is a very messy season. It, just like everybody hates each other. But I guess it's Vanuatu. <laughs> that also basically happened on Vanuatu. Everybody hated each other there as well. All right. 
Salim Ben Ali, he wins reward. He wins an opportunity for a loved one to stay overnight to stay overnight stay at the tribe camp. <laughs> okay, the grammar is a little off here, but that's fine. It's the loved one's challenge, but immunity is gonna go to Octavia Moon. She is immune tonight. Cannot be voted for. We'll go to the beach. We have Aaron with a major meltdown and Mark also with a major meltdown. <laughs> Uh, these men, they are falling apart. Um, I think Mark is going to get voted out tonight. He's not in that alliance. He's having a major meltdown. He's not liked by most people. We shall see. Let's go to tribal. We got the final seven here. The valedictorians. Octavia, she has the necklace. Cannot be voted for tonight. Everybody else is eligible. And it is time to vote. The first vote is going to go to Mark. One vote Mark. Second vote goes to... Sienna, that's one vote Mark, one vote Sienna, five votes left. Third vote goes to Mark, two votes Mark, one vote Sienna. Fourth vote goes to Mark, that's three votes Mark, one vote Sienna, three votes left. And the 12th person voter out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale, third member of the jury is going to be Mark Eggleston. Tribe has spoken. Unsurprising, unanimous vote against him. He was having a major meltdown. He was not liked on this tribe. He goes out here. Everybody votes for him. He throws a vote on Sienna. We'll just move on. All right, it's the final six. We got Aaron, Octavia, Paolo, Salim, Sienna, and Vanessa. I guess we're going to have to see if that final four alliance sticks together because this could be the make it or break it tribal for them. Let's look at the relationships. We have Octavia and Vanessa with their alliance. It is down to a six now, though. Then we have this final four alliance. It is very shaky. Only a five strength and Aaron and Paolo are <laughs> at a four. They might jump ship. Salim and Vanessa now have an extreme hatred toward one another. <laughs> and Sienna and Aaron also with an extreme hatred toward one another. This is a nasty season. Everybody is fighting constantly. They hate one another. Octavia and Vanessa, however, have a medium bond. Uh, Vanessa and Paolo now with a medium dislike. Sienna and Salim with a bond, Salim and Paolo with a dislike, Salim and Paolo with a dislike, and Sienna and Paolo also with a dislike, and Salim and Octavia with a slight bond. Honestly, Octavia Moon might be taking this. I feel like she hasn't really rubbed anyone the wrong way, like nobody dislikes her. So if she's sitting in that final two seed, I think she just gets all the votes. But Salim, he wins reward again, and uh, Sienna and Paolo, they come in second and third, so they get to go on reward as well. And they all win a car, I think? Okay. And the road trip to a resort for a night with food and a hot shower. All right. But immunity is going to go to Paolo. Paolo cannot be voted for tonight. Everybody else is going to be eligible. Let's go to the beach. We have Salim and Sienna with a small fight. We have Aaron and Paolo with a small fight. And then we have Aaron and Sienna with a minor disagreement. <laughs> this season is so nasty. What What is going on? Why do these people hate each other? <laughs> Let's go to tribal. All right, final six here. Aaron, Octavia, Paolo, Salim, Sienna, and Vanessa. Paolo has the necklace, cannot be voted for tonight. It is time to vote. First vote, it goes to Salim. One vote, Salim. Second vote goes to Sienna. That's one vote, Salim. One vote, Sienna. Four votes left. Third vote goes to Sienna. That's two votes, Sienna. One vote, Salim. Three votes left. Fourth vote is going to go to Salim. We're tied. Two votes Salim, two votes Sienna, two votes left. And the next vote goes to Sienna. That's three votes Sienna, two votes Salim, one vote left. And the last vote goes to Salim. We're tied. <laughs> what? The alliance, they did not vote together? What is going on? Did Paolo flip? Now that he has the necklace, is he like, I'm going to flip. Uh, We'll have a reboot. <laughs> Salim and Sienna are the only ones who will not vote. Again, everybody else will re-vote. And the first vote is going to go to Salim. That's a bone vote, Salim. Second vote is going to go to Salim. Two votes, Salim. Two votes left. And the next vote goes to Sienna. Two votes, Salim. One vote, Sienna. One vote left. Are we deadlocked? <laughs> that would be exciting. Last vote, it goes to... The 13th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor. Copperdale, fourth member of the jury. Salim Benali. We were not deadlocked. Salim, tribe has spoken. His social game was kind of awful. Everybody did not like him. So, not very surprising that he goes out here. Kind of surprising it was a tie, though. 
All right, so it is Octavia, Sienna, and Vanessa who are voting for Salim. Aaron, Paolo, and Salim vote for Sienna. And then Paolo flips on the reboot. Okay, I guess Paolo was trying something. He did flip, but he didn't commit to the flip. I mean, he could have forced them into rocks. <laughs> and of course, he would not have to draw a rock because uh, he had the necklace. But he did not do that. So we'll just move on to episode number 13. It's the final five. We have the four-person alliance, the shakiest alliance in the world. It is Aaron, Octavia, Paolo, and Vanessa. And Sienna by herself. It's not moved at all, the alliance. Octavia and Vanessa now up to a seven again. Then we have Sienna and Aaron with their extreme hatred. Salim is gone, so he doesn't have the extreme hatred anymore. But Vanessa and Octavia with their medium bond. Vanessa and Paolo with a medium dislike. Sienna and Octavia with their slight bond. Paolo and Aaron with a slight dislike. Sienna and Paolo with a slight dislike. And then Vanessa and Sienna with a slight bond. Octavia with a slight bond toward Paolo. Uh, and a slight dislike toward Aaron. And Paolo with a slight bond toward Octavia. All right. Octavia still with a great social game, does not like Aaron, but that's like the only person throughout the entire game that she has not been on good terms with. So honestly, Octavia might be winning this. Paolo, he wins reward and he decides to take Octavia Moon with him on the reward and they get to go to a dormant volcano and get a picnic with hot dogs, hot chocolate and beer. All right, on to the immunity. We have Venetia winning immunity. She cannot be voted for tonight. Safe from tribal. Let's go to the beach. Paolo, he decides to leave the four-person alliance. <laughs> he's not going to stick with them for the last vote. So I imagine he's probably gone. Maybe Sienna survives and Paolo gets taken out instead. I don't know. Let's go to tribal. We got the final five here. Vanessa, she has the necklace. Cannot be voted for. It is time to vote. The first vote, it goes to Sienna. One vote, Sienna. Second vote goes to Paolo, one vote Paolo, one vote Sienna. Three votes left, and the third vote goes to Paolo. That's two votes Paolo, one vote Sienna, two votes left. And the 14th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale, fifth member of the jury, is going to be Paolo Roca. Honestly, why was he leaving that alliance? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He kind of screwed himself over, but Paolo, the tribe has spoken. He's gone. Unanimous vote against him. He throws a vote on Sienna. He should have stuck by them. <laughs> but he didn't do that. All right. Anyway, we're into the finale. We got the final four here on this season that is defined by its absolute nastiness. We have Aaron Bita, who has kind of been fighting with most people. Not really been well liked on this tribe or in this season. But he got into a lucky spot on this four-person alliance that uh, carried him to the final four. So he's still here somehow, even though... Uh, Sienna hates him. <laughs> then we have Octavia Moon, social queen of the season. She has uh, been well-liked by everybody, has been kind of running the game since the merge. So I think she is definitely the favorite to win. We have Sienna Grove, who has been on the outs the entire time, has only been able to stay in the game by the skin of her teeth. She uh, hates Aaron. <laughs> so uh, I don't think there's any chance that uh, that the two of them link up to go against the final two of Octavia and Vanessa. But we have the final member here, Vanessa Kaiputri. She had a bit of a rocky start in the pre-merge. Of course, started out in a few alliances, was in a good spot. But then after the swap, she was in a pretty precarious situation. But fortunately, was able to survive to the merge. And by doing so, was able to link up with Octavia. And together, they just kind of ran the merge with their uh, little alliance. It's going to be exciting to see how this turns out. Let's go to the beach. We have the final two. We have now this alliance at a final three. Sienna and Aaron, they hate each other. Vanessa and Octavia now with an unbreakable relationship. Sienna and Octavia with a slight bond. Vanessa and Sienna with a slight bond. And Octavia and Vanessa both dislike Aaron. <laughs> okay, maybe Aaron just goes. Maybe we have an all women's final three. They might just be like, I mean, we're aligned with Aaron, but fuck him. Take him out. But Sienna, she wins immunity. Underdog. She was on the out, so it's definitely going to be Aaron what it out tonight. She definitely needed this immunity. Maybe not, but she definitely needed Aaron to not win immunity. But she's going to be immune tonight. Let's go to the beach. We have Octavia resting at camp to restore her energy, and that's it. All right, we'll go to tribal. 
Final four is here. Sienna has the necklace, cannot be voted for. It is time to vote. The first vote is gonna go to Vanessa. One vote, Vanessa. Second vote goes to Vanessa. <laughs> what? Two votes, Vanessa. Two votes left. Did Aaron and Sienna actually stick together for a vote? That is wild. Third vote is gonna go to Aaron. Two votes, Vanessa. One vote, Aaron. One vote left. And the last vote goes to Aaron. We're tied. Final vote count two versus two. We're tied here. There's gonna be a revote. I don't know why we're doing a revote, but uh, Sienna and Octavia, they're gonna vote again. The first vote is gonna go to Aaron. One vote, Aaron. And the second vote goes to Vanessa. We're deadlocked. Oh my god. The first tie in the final four we've had in sims 4 survivor aaron pita and vanessa kayaputri they are gonna have to go into fire whoever wins fire making will stay the loser will be eliminated honestly sienna grove this might be a game winning move for her if she can get vanessa out working with her arch enemy <laughs> And if she can take out Octavia, maybe she just wins. But let's find out who wins fire making. It is going to be... <laughs> Vanessa, she wins fire making. Unfortunate for Sienna, she tried to pull a move. It flopped. Aaron, the tribe has spoken. He loses fire making, is out of the game. Honestly, wild tribal. Props to Sienna for putting her personal feelings aside and trying to pull this move off, even if she wasn't successful. But maybe she got some respect from the jury after this. If she can make it to the final two, she could get votes. So I think her winning prospects have just gone up. Let's go to the final three, part two of the finale. It is an all women final three, Octavia, Sienna, and Vanessa. Let's see how their relationships are. We got the final two alliance, Octavia and Vanessa. They have an unbreakable bond, of course. Sienna and Octavia, slight bond. Vanessa and Sienna with a slight bond. At least they all like each other. For like a season that was so nasty and everybody hated one another. At least the final three are on amicable terms. But let's see who wins the final immunity of the season. And gets to cast the final vote of the season. Or a final vote to be eliminated. Is it going to be Sienna? That could be exciting. But it's going to be. Let's find out. Vanessa. She wins immunity. Oh, unfortunate for Sienna. She is definitely gone here, right? Unless Vanessa turns on her number one in the game. Considers her a threat to win. I mean, Octavia Moon is definitely like the biggest threat to win here. Let's go to the beach. Nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> we'll just go straight to tribal. Final three here. Octavia. Sienna, Vanessa. Vanessa has the necklace, is gonna cast the soul vote to be eliminated. She goes and casts her vote, and I will read the final vote. The 16th person voted out of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. 7th member of the jury is gonna be... Sienna Grove. Yeah, it's not very surprising. Tribe has spoken Sienna. She tried her best to flip it on Vanessa. Didn't succeed, but she made an attempt. And you know what? From playing from the bottom, she made it all the way to the final three. It's pretty impressive. However, we have our final two of Octavia Moon and Vanessa Kayaputri. These two girls, they were basically together from the beginning, made it all the way to the end. Weren't really that close until the final few episodes there, but whatever works, I guess. The two of them, they make their speeches. The jurors, they ask their questions, and then they've cast their final votes for the winner. It is time to reveal who the winner of Sims 4 Survivor, Copperdale, is gonna be. The first vote goes to... Vanessa. One vote, Vanessa. Second vote goes to Octavia. One vote, Vanessa. One vote, Octavia. Third vote goes to Octavia. That's two votes, Octavia. One vote, Vanessa. And the fourth vote goes to Octavia. That's three votes, Octavia. One vote, Vanessa. And the fifth vote goes to Vanessa. That's three votes, Octavia. Two votes, Vanessa. Closer than I thought. And the sixth vote goes to 
Octavia. Four votes, that's enough to win. Octavia Moon is the winner of Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale. Congratulations. Was there ever any doubt? Honestly, not really. I mean, she just played by far the strongest social game in a season where everybody was fighting all of the time. She was the only person liked by every single person on that jury. Who were the Vanessa votes? It was Sienna and Vivian. All right. Octavia was also the fan favorite. <laughs> That's a Sims 4 Survivor first. She is the first winner to also win fan favorite. I mean, also makes sense. Again, nasty ass season. Everybody was fighting. She was the only person who was actually likable on this cast. So congratulations, Octavia. Most winningest winner of all time so far. But here we have our elimination order. It is Janae Price, Nancy Brock, Lou Howell, Ulrika Faust, Knox Greenberg, Izzy Fabulous, Lana McKinnon, Alika Kahananui, Holly Alto, Alan Sadra, Vivian Lewis, Mark Eccleston, Salim Benali, Paolo Rocca, Aaron Bida. In third place, Sienna Grove. Our runner-up, Vanessa Kayaputri. And our winner, Octavia Moon, entering the Hall of Fame. Let's look at the stats. We have Vanessa and Vivian tying with the most immunity wins, both at two. Then we have Holly, Mark, Octavia, Paolo, and Sienna with one each. Most votes received was Paolo with 12. Oh, that's interesting. Then we have Salim Benali with 11, Lou, Vivian with nine, and Octavia only got one vote to be eliminated. That is very impressive. <laughs> Honestly, this might be one of the most dominant winners so far right like she was well liked by everyone everybody else hated one another she just like coasted all the way to the end handily beat the person sitting next to her wins fan favorite as well most strategic we have sienna grove a number one aaron beta number two and then octavia moon number three I don't know if that's true. I think I would put Octavia number one. Like, she had the alliances. Sienna was just on the outs the entire time. Aaron, he, like, wormed his way into an alliance, but he didn't really create a winning scenario for himself. But also, Sienna did, like, try to put her feelings aside and focus on her own game. So, I feel like this is the correct three. I just think I would put Octavia number one, and then Sienna number two, and Aaron number three. But there you have it, that's the season. Sims 4 Survivor Copperdale is finished. All hail our current reigning, Octavia Moon, the most winningest winner of all time. And I will see you in the next season, whenever I get to that one. Goodbye.